the most obscure musical instruments you could possibly imagine. Some sound harsh, and others beautiful. Here are the top 15 most weird musical instruments. Number 15, the great stalac pipe organ. There are many strange organs out there, which use all sorts of materials to produce sound, but one of the best is the great stalac pipe organ. Located in Lurie Caverns in the United States, technically this stalac pipe organ is not an organ at all, but a percussion instrument known as a lithophone. Instead of blowing air through pipes, it operates by rhythmically striking 37 different stalactites scattered across the three and a half acre cave. The stalag pipe organ is so big that the Guinness Book of World Records has crowned it the world's largest instrument. Millions of people have toured Lure Cavern since its discovery in 1878, including Leland Sprinkle, an electronics engineer and mathematician who worked at the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. Sprinkle and his son visited the caverns in 1954. At the time, guides tapped the cave's stalactites to demonstrate how different sizes would give off different tones. That demonstration inspired Sprinkle, who was also a musician, to create the great stalactite organ. In order to find these perfect pitches, Sprinkle tested and shaved the stalactites in this cavern and wired them to the central keyboard. The entire process took three years, and the organ stretches across over 40,000 square feet. Number 14. The Vegetable Orchestra yeah, you read that right. You should never again be challenged by your mom or dad for being bad by playing with your food. The Vegetable Orchestra was founded in 1998 in Vienna, Austria. The 10-piece ensemble from the city of Beethoven, Brahms, and Mozart that plays music with instruments made entirely from fresh produce. They play a wide range of music on fresh vegetables, using everything from bass drum pumpkins to carrot flutes. Some instruments are ready as is, but some require some sculpting. Unlike traditional instruments, which can last for hundreds of years, vegetable instruments quickly go bad, so the orchestra has to create new ones each time it plays. The morning of every show, the group goes to the local markets with a detailed shopping list and carefully comb through the crates. After a lengthy trip of testing the veggies, the musicians carve, slice, and drill their fresh fruits into performance-ready instruments. Once the veggies are peeled and cut, they may only last about six hours. Don't worry, though, none of the food goes to waste. The remaining pieces of vegetable get thrown into a massive pot of soup, which is handed out to their audience after each performance. Number 13. The Glass Harmonica Invented by Benjamin Franklin, this instrument uses the same principle as playing wine glasses, but turns it on its side. A series of glass bowls rotate while the player simply touches the bowls with wet fingers to create the desired notes. Because of its unique design, multiple notes can be played at once, creating some hauntingly beautiful sounds. It was quite popular in its day. In fact, some of the great composers, such as Mozart and Beethoven, arranged pieces to include the glass harmonica. But sadly, its popularity has dwindled over time. One strange rumor related to the instrument's decreasing fame was that it was known anecdotally to cause anybody who played it enough to go insane. Such was the disorienting nature of the unique sound it produced. The disorienting quality of the ethereal sound is due in part to the way that humans perceive and locate ranges of sounds. Above 4 kHz, people primarily use the loudness of the sound to differentiate between left and right ears and to locate the source of a noise. Below 1 kHz, they use the phase differences of sound waves arriving at their left and right ears to identify location. The predominant pitch of the harmonica is in the range of 1 to 4 kHz, which coincides with the sound range where the brain is not quite sure and thus listeners have difficulty locating it in space, where it comes from, and discerning the source of the sound. Well, that's the theory as to why the sounds of the glass harmonica can drive anybody crazy. Number 12. Singing Ringing Tree This work of art is constructed from varying lengths of pipe. As the wind passes over the pipes, it creates an eerie sound. The original tower is almost 10 feet over the East Lancashire landscape in England. The singing, ringing tree's pipes are used for both aesthetic qualities as well as for tuning, but their sound varied according to the length and added narrow slits on the underside of these specific pipes. The sound produced by these twisted metal trees covers several octaves and is said to be simultaneously discordant, melancholy, and intensely beautiful. Completed in 2006, the tree was designed by award-winning architects Mike Tonkin and Anna Liu as part of a project created by the East Lancashire Environmental Arts Network to build a series of landmarks over the countryside. The site at Burnley was once that of a rediffusion transmission station, complete with rundown brick building and unused telegraph lines. The station was dismantled and the lines cut down to be recycled, 
to make way for the tree that was to stand out against the stark rolling landscape of the Pennine mountain range. The tree is one of four panopticons scattered throughout Lancashire. The chosen panopticons, a term coined by late 19th century philosopher Jeremy Bentham, meaning a space or device providing a panoramic view, included the tree, the Adam of Pendle, designed by Peter Meacock and Katerina Novometska, the color fields in Blackburn, designed by Joe Rippon Architecture and artist Sophie Smallhorn, and the Haslingdon Halo, designed by Land Lab and architect John Kennedy. Number 11. Pyrophone. The pyrophone does what it says on the tin. It's an organ that's powered by gasoline and propane. The sounds are produced by combustion and explosion. In order to be played, at least some part of the organ needs to be on fire. Of course, it's all perfectly safe. The organ itself can be powered by propane and gasoline, and the explosions that force exhaust down the pipes to make sounds can be regulated. But still, it's an explosion organ. Take a few steps back before the show starts. Patented by the Strasbourg-born musician and scientist Frederick Kastner. In 1873, the pyrophone was a musical instrument in which flames encased pipes similar to those of a traditional organ were used to produce musical notes. The only composer to actually write any music specifically for the instrument was Theodore Lack, who wrote several pieces, including an arrangement of God Save the Queen that was later performed publicly. Sadly, although it was a unique and exciting innovation, how many instruments do you know that are gas-powered? It didn't set the musical world alight, and is now nothing more than a footnote in musical history. Guess you could say it flamed out. Number 10. The Honocopian Drone Pipe The Honocopian Drone Pipe is an entirely 3D printed instrument designed by Monad Studios, Eric Goldenberg, and Veronica Zalkberg, with musician Luthier Scott F. Hall. It's just one of a set of rather dystopian-looking instruments which together form an art installation. The other instruments are two string piezoelectric violins, one string electric travel bass guitar, one string piezoelectric mono violoncello, and a small didgeridoo. The wonderfully named Hornocopian drone pipe is a brass wind instrument, which produces a sound not unlike that of a low sustained pitches of the didgeridoo. The large instrument sits not on, but around the player's body, draping it around the player's limbs like an anaconda. It has a visual weight to it, and despite being printed in PLA, gives the impression that it would drape slightly and settle down when worn. That close fit between body and instrument is achieved through 3D modeling when combined with expertise in calculating ergonomics and an in-depth understanding of the relationship between comfort and correct performance posture. As the instrument requires no strings or tuning pegs, it was fabricated entirely by the 3D printer and emerged from the printer nearly ready to play. While the design of the drone pipe took several months, the printing was complete in 10 days. Number 9. Theremin This instrument is weird because it requires no touch to be played. Instead, one produces sound by moving their hands in proximity to two antennas. Invented in 1920 by Russian physicist Lev Tierman, the theremin was originally intended for use in classical music. It never caught on as an orchestral instrument, although its popularity got a boost in 1994 when the film Theremin, an electronic odyssey, was released. It consists of a box with radio tubes producing oscillations at two sound wave frequencies above the range of hearing. Together, they produce a lower audible frequency equal to the difference in their rates of vibration. Pitch is controlled by moving the hand or a baton towards or away from an antenna at the right rear of the box. This movement alters one of the inaudible frequencies. Harmonics or component tones of the sound can be filtered out, allowing production of several tone colors over a range of six octaves. Inside the first theremins, a circuit of vacuum tubes, oscillators, coils, and wires created electromagnetic fields around the instrument's two antennas. Players fluttered their fingers and waved their hands near the antennae to raise or lower the theremin's pitch and volume. Inexperienced players often created nothing more than atonal blats and bleats. Theremin masters, however, made the instrument sound as gorgeous and haunting as any operatic aria one might have heard broadcast from Carnegie Hall. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Badgerman So, you've come to terms with the idea of the theremin. It's fine, a bit of electronics, a spooky noise, nothing to worry about, right? Well, perhaps it's time you looked at the badgerman. Just take a look at that word again, badgerman. It's a badger crossed with a theremin. Yes, it's weird, and yes, David Kramner, the instrument's creator, knows that it's the most unholy spawn of taxidermy, electronic instruments, and a badger. Why it's in a badger is anyone's guess. 
but it certainly does manage to turn the weird up to 11. Number seven, double bass contra flute. The flute brings to mind gentle soprano sounds with a silvery finish, but did you know that there are more, bigger members to the flute family? The entire range of a piano can be covered by flutes, ranging from the piccolo to the double contrabass flute. This eight-foot-tall monster consists of 18 feet of tubing, sounds much like a foghorn, and is super rare. There are only four in the entire world. Sometimes referred to as the gentle giant of the flute family, the contrabass retains the facility for trills, as found elsewhere in the flute world. The haunting low register below G2 has similar qualities to the bassoon and the low B, three octaves below middle C, can carry well with an experienced performer. The contrabass flute requires much greater volume of air to produce the sound than most other wind instruments, and composers who write for this instrument might consider more frequent breaks in phrasing than one would do for writing for smaller flutes. A wider, slower airstream is needed to produce a solid tone. This is not an instrument for the weary. Number six, Zadar C organ. The Zadar organ is named after the Croatian seaside town it sits in, concealed beneath a set of large white steps leading into the water. Similar to the wave organ in San Francisco, California, and the high tide organ in Blackpool, England, the instrument consists of a series of 35 tubes and a large resonating cavity, which is played by the wind and the sea. The organ's music is eerily reminiscent of the melancholy sounds of whale calls. The sea organ was designed by architect Nikola Basic and completed in 2005. Just behind it is another art installation he created, the Sun Salutation, which has an ethereal pattern of glass panels that capture sunlight to power their own light show that's a tribute to the solar system. As waves push air through the channels, a song pours through the organ pipes and out onto the steps above. The sound produced rely completely on the wave's energy, random time, and space distribution. Visitors say the sound is hauntingly memorable and rather rhythmical and even hypnotizing. Number five, Picasso guitar. Built by master luthier Linda Manzer, this guitar was made specifically for Pat Metheny. It was inspired by none other than Pablo Picasso himself, the founder of the Cubist movement and one of the most iconic artists of the 20th century. The harp guitar has 42 strings, four necks, and two sound holes. It's made up of Indian rosewood on the back and sides, German spruce on top, mahogany for the double necks, ebony fingerboards, bridges, and faceplates, pow abalone decorative trim boxwood, rosewood, abalone rosette brass insets for mounting on a stand an exotic design that gets a fittingly exotic material treatment. The body is tapered so that the side closest to the player is thinner than the side that rests on the player's knee, thus leaning the top backwards towards the player for a more aerial view. This is also more comfortable under the player's arm. The instrument took two years to build, with thousands of hours of work put into it in that time frame. When the 42 strings are tuned to concert pitch, the Picasso is under approximately a thousand pounds of pressure. Despite its complexity, it weighs less than 15 pounds. Number four, Wintergarten Marble Machine. The Wintergarten Marble Machine is a hand-cranked music box loaded with instruments, including a circuit of 2,000 cascading steel marbles. As the device cycles, it activates a vibraphone, bass, kick drum, cymbal, and other instruments that play a score programmed into a 32-bar loop composed of Lego Technic parts. The marbles are moved internally through the machine using funnels, pulleys, and tubes. Instruments played by marbles striking them include a vibraphone, bass guitar, cymbal, and emulated kick drum, hi-hat and snare drum sounds using contact microphones. The music score is stored in two programmable wheels that utilize Lego Technic beams and stud connectors to trigger the armatures to release the marbles. Number three, Yebahar. The Yebahar is a new electric-free, totally acoustic instrument. The vibrations from the strings are transmitted via the coiled springs to the frame drums. These vibrations are turned into sound by the membranes which echo back and forth on the coiled springs. This results in a unique listening experience with a hypnotic surround sound. Hitting the membranes with a padded drumstick causes the sound to reverberate. Running a finger down a coil, it makes an odd galactic whoosh. And when you pluck a string on the fingerboard, it goes pew like a laser gun sound. Number two, the Zuzaphone. Probably the most intimidating instrument on this list, the Zuzaphone is a special type of dual resonant solid state coil or DRS STC. It's distinguished from old fashioned Tesla coils in that it uses modern high power transistors to pulse electricity through the primary coil instead of using a physical air gap. 
Since the power switching functions are electronically controlled, you can introduce a musical signal to play music through the range of frequencies that it's capable of pulsing power at. Frequencies up to 900 Hz are possible. The lightning-like arcs vibrate the air at musical frequencies, which is what gives this instrument its imposing sound. Number 1. The Bicolophone The Bicolophone takes spin class to a whole new level of sonic exploration. Using a loop-based recording system and outboard signal processors like reverbs, delays, and pitch shifts, unique sound compositions are built in layers. Originally constructed in June 1995 as a side instrument for the Lyle and Sparkleface band, the Bicolophone has evolved into a palette of sonic exploration. With magnetic pickups attached to amplify sound, anything connected to the bike becomes amplified. The current configuration includes bass strings, scrap wood and metal, metal bowls, telephone bells, a mechanical foot pedal, and a touch-sensitive tone generator. The Bicolophone produces sounds ranging from tranquil bliss to cacophonic terror. Using a loop-based recording system and outboard signal processors, reverb, delays, pitch shifts, etc., sound compositions are built in layers. These compositions become the foundation for additional solo meanderings using vocals, tone generators, plastic wind instruments, or anything that makes a sound. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.